to what happened? Well, I heard about a half hour ago, I heard a series of four birds hit the windows within about three seconds. And I went and looked, but I didn't find anything out, out on the deck. And I was just standing at the window here a few minutes ago, and there goes an eagle. <laughs> and uh, I saw this little guy hopping out there, and I, they usually fly away. And when I opened the door, he just hopped a little further and looked back at me, and so I cautiously and carefully made my way towards him, but when I reached down to pick him up, he leaped over the deck and fell onto the ground below. So I went down and plucked him out of the snowbank. He would embedded his head in the snowbank, and his little wings were out like he was trying to fly. But he, he's looking. He doesn't look like he's broken a wing. He looks pretty, pretty healthy. I don't know what's wrong with him. I'll get some seed and see if he wants to eat. And I think he might be a Cassin's finch. That's the, the closest I've ever come. Cassin's finch. How long have we had this bird now? We have had the bird for five days. Um, initially we put him in a box and after a while, after a couple of days, um, my sister lent me a cage, this cage to put him in, because he still can't fly and it appears that his, his, uh, let's see, would that be his, left wing, I guess, doesn't fold quite right. And he doesn't even look like the same bird. He's so skinny now. And it's not due to the lack of food, it's due to the fact, I think, that he is indoors and doesn't need to fluff his feathers to keep warm. So we're hoping that um, eventually he'll be able to fly and maybe he has a sprained wing? We don't know. But we're going to try to... We'll take him into the spare room in the back and see if he can fly before we try outside again. Let's see if I can hold the little guy. Why don't we chase him and see if he's going to, if he can fly. Well, it seems like he has somewhat of an ability to fly.